Thank you. Yeah, Lance, just first conference win, first win in a while. Just what do you think was, was different today than, than in some of the last games? Well, I think you know, some of the things we've been talking about for some weeks, so the ability to defensively creating some pressure on the quarterback, creating some turnovers were very, um, you know, we were disruptive in those ways and got some momentum. I think offensively, we, we took some shots again down the field and made some explosive plays and got ourselves in a good position early. You know, I think um, just under a nine minute drive to open the game, that's about as good a start as we've had in a while. Really proud of the guys there that we were very methodical and productive in that. And, and uh, you know, start the game that way, especially after they defer and give us the football. So um, again, we had a lot of fine performances. That drive, do you feel like that really did set the tone for the game to open the game? Well, I think it's a confidence builder that we, we could do some things. I, I think it really helped us. And you know, there's a lot of football to be played, as we could see. And there were some times where you could see the momentum shift. And, and again, we, we answered the bell on some of those things. But overall, it was a great way to start the game. And we talked about the passing attack and how it has improved over the last couple of weeks. What did you see that from there today? And how pleased are you that the explosive passes were really on display? Well, we're able to, you know, get, get the ball down the field. Quinn made another great catch for a touchdown. Um, I thought LJ had hit one of his better games, even though he was out for a bit. Created some things after the catch, a great catch on the sideline. Um, you, you know, we got Trevor Cardell in there, but I also thought Taylor did a great job, which he has, I think, all year, of checking the ball down to, to Devin um, when something's not there. So again, the ball's being spread out, we're a lot more comfortable. And he said, you know, some of the times now that our guys have been on the field together this long, some of that time they missed in camp and things are starting to pay off for us that I think we found a little more of a rhythm and, and finding things that we can be successful at. John? Lance, you get that 12 tackles for a loss. That's like three games worth. Anything you do different? Or? Yeah, I think we're a little more aggressive. The, this game, we talked about that. I think we mentioned it last week in the press conference that we were behind in sacks and turning the ball over. I think we're, again, we did a great job in securing the ball today and creating those turnovers and some of those tackles for losses. Besides that, I think we put some pressure on the quarterback to kind of hurry some throws that, that helped us in some of those interceptions. So, again, a very aggressive up front. We're, I thought we were very disruptive. Dean Miller showed up a few times. DJ Withers, I, I thought he you know, plays with an extreme motor, goes hard all the time. Um, JB Brown is you know, a guy who's very disruptive when we use him in a blitz game. So we, we had a chance to, to utilize a lot of those guys when we get more in the future. And then with a win like this, what can your psyche be heading into the game? Yeah, uh, well, again, you know, this team's been pretty fragile for a while because. You know, we've been so close, and, and for us to, to have a win and, and have a win of, of this margin is definitely something that we've been waiting waiting for and, and, and you know, I don't want to say expecting, but wanting to happen if we can put four quarters together. And I said this earlier on the post-game radio, I thought the game was pretty pretty well played, clean on both sides, maybe on both sides, maybe other than the last drives by each team. There were a few penalties each, but overall, I thought, you know, Brust had six penalties, and a couple of those were late. I thought it was another game between that and ball security, and hopefully these are things that we can build upon as we go play a ranked team next week. Yeah. Uh, first of all, talk about the game by Kobe Bryant. Yeah, you know, we didn't even know, you know, you know, Kobe didn't really start practicing until taking team reps till Tuesday of this week after he was injured at Arizona State. You know, and uh, one thing about him, he's a highly competitive young man. He never wants to miss. And for him to come out and play as well as he did, it was really great to see. I, I guess I could say just the way you know Kobe, it's probably not really surprising because the game's awful important to him. He plays extremely physical and aggressive, and, you know, he made huge plays for us. And then Houston came in with the third best defense uh, in the conference, and you, you were within 10 yards of matching their season average. In the first half, you talk about the fast start and how that helped you. Yeah, that like you said, that first drive I thought was was something that was a confidence builder that we were able to to mix some things in, in run and pass. We thought Jeff and the offensive coaches put together a nice opening plan. Again, then the uh, 
then we had the interception, and then we hit on the on the, on the deep ball right away. I think gave us a lot of confidence and momentum to kind of build upon and go. So it was a, it's a very good defense, and uh, for us to have that type of success, I, I think the only time that we kind of you know I know we punted a couple other times we were backed up, but. Um, Probably the one after Cornell's interception where we ran the reverse for negative yards is probably the one that we tried the long field goal that we hoped we could have maybe kind of put it away at that time with a touchdown we did. You were talking about the team's psyche. Could you sense in the locker room the value of the system? Well, it's a, it's a, it's a pretty exciting group in there right now. And, and again, they've, uh, you know, I've said this before, is that this group is stuck together, this staff is stuck together. I'm really proud of them. And again, they're, they're, they're enjoying the victory and they should, you know, said before, if you look all across the country, winning games is pretty hard. And uh, to win college football games in this day and age right now is difficult. And, and for us, we need to embrace this. And it's, a, it's hopefully one that we can build upon here in the second half of the season. No dive brothers today. Can you talk about how everybody else kind of stepped up? With yeah, we're we're thin in some spots, you know, and definitely at safety. You know, Caleb Purdy got some snaps rotating with Taylor Davis, and you know, Caleb is a guy that really hasn't played in his career. Taylor Davis starts first time in his career. Um, you know, we have Mason Ellis and the Die Brothers out. We're we're down three safeties at this time, and and um, but it's good to see them. I thought Taylor plays extremely aggressive. It was good that you know we can. We're going to need more people to get opportunities. Uh, um, Demarius McGee was also out at corner. Um, Tristan Fletcher was out. Logan Bradley's out for the year. So we're we're thin in, in, in the back seven right now with with healthy bodies. But the guys who played definitely stepped up. How impactful was it having Cornell in their back in the line of today? It was extremely. You know, it was a point where Cor Cornell didn't know if he was. You know, going to be able to go or not. We talked about a lot of different things with him, and uh, you know, he started moving around decent uh, Wednesday's practice. And we thought Thursday he moved around extremely well. We thought we'd rotate him in some, you know. And uh, you know, he's the leader of the defense. You know, well respected. And to see him get a play like that, it was you know for a guy who's missed, it was uh, extremely impactful and a boost to the defense. And something that we'll build upon here now. Now that he's back on the field. What did you think of the atmosphere from the crowd today? You know, I, I thought it was very good. We appreciate all the people that came out today and support this team. I know it's been a tough go of it and, and, and whatnot, but to the, to the loyal ones that have continued to stay with it and believe in this team, and it's it's really been nice that, you know, there's uh, the people that, uh, that, that drop you a note and tell you that they still believe in the direction of our program and what we're doing, and to hear the crowd at, at certain times and big downs, it, there's a lot of noise in there. And hopefully, we've given some people reason to come back and others to join in here down the stretch. Pretty big performance from from defensive line today. Six sacks total from four different players. What was it about the the way you guys played defense that allowed you to get that much pressure? Well, I, you know, I think we did a little more movement and put some pressure on in some different packages. I think our guys we tried to stress a little bit more, like I said, that we had generated enough, you know, disruption as, as we needed. You know, we rotate a fair amount of guys, so hopefully we stay fresh and active there. And again, it's a, 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 again something that we need to continue as we as we as we go down the second half. That we've got some guys who can show they can be disruptive at times. We've got to make sure that we're there making plays. Anything else, Coach? Thanks, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Have a good day. Thanks.